Hi, my name is Doug, and uh, this is my uh, my IT project that I made for Mr. Morell's C++ class. Okay. What's this project about, Doug? This project is to help people learning Spanish and learn the difference between it, preterite and imperfect past tense verbs. Wow, I could have used that when I was in high school. Very good. Okay, go ahead. So, here is the code. Um, right up here, I have the uh, where I made the score and where the user can answer. Okay. And then right here, it asks the user if they would like to start or quit if they accidentally clicked on the program. Right. Uh, so then, then it gives the score a value of zero because um, it needs to have a value. Okay. Then it's if they pressed start or if they typed in one, <laughs> uh -huh. then it starts the program. And, um, and what's the difference between equals one and equals equals one? Equals one is for uh, giving a value, and equals equals one is for if you're, if you're determining a user input value. Yeah, so equals one is when you want to assign the value of one to the variable answer. Equals equals one is when you want to compare a value that answer already has to the number one. Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, the first question here, it has generalmente. Uh, and the, you only have two choices for each answer. It's preterite or imperfect. Okay. The answer for this one is uh, imperfect. So if they, so then they type in their answer. Right. And if it's a one for preterite, then it tells them that they're wrong. But if it's a two for imperfect, then it tells them that they're right, and it adds one to their score. Okay. And then it does that ten times, and uh, the questions can be changed if you want to give a different quiz. Oh, good. And then uh, all the way at the end here, uh, once, the, uh, once they complete the quiz, it tells them that they scored uh, however many points they got out of 10 points. Okay, great. And if they chose to quit, then it displays a message that says goodbye. Okay. All the way at the end. So then, now the presentation. Okay, so this is the presentation that I made. Okay. Uh, the purpose of the purpose of this program is to help people learning Spanish learn the difference between a preterite and an imperfect past tense. Mm -hmm. uh, and a um, an imperfect is an action that was going on or is still going on today mm -hmm. uh, the, that happened in the past. Or a, and a um, a preterite is an action that has already been completed. Okay. The functionality it displays a series of ten words and phrases, and the user has to determine if they're preterite or imperfect by typing in a one or a two. Mm -hmm. If it gets it, if the user gets it right, then they get one point. But if they're wrong, then no points are added. Okay. So then here's the code that we already saw. Okay. And then right here, this is um, how the program looks when it's running. Okay. Uh, so it gives you the option to start or quit. And then as you can see, if I typed in a 1, so then it didn't, uh, it didn't let me start. Mm -hmm. And then for generalmente, I put in a 2, and that's the correct answer, so it told me I'm correct. Okay. But then for the second one, the answer was also imperfect, but I typed in a 1, so it, as you can see, that's wrong. Now, is there a score? Is there a way for the user to keep track of how many right and wrong? No, it's only displayed at the end. Oh, it's that? Okay, right yeah, there. And then okay. right here, you can see um, after they finish all of them, you can see how many points they got. So I got eight out of ten on that one. Okay. And then it, here's a video demonstration of the code. Okay. Where where is the video? I just closed out. Um, okay. There. So as you can see right here, um, it presses, uh, it presses one, mm -hmm. and then then that starts the program. Mm -hmm. Then uh, if you type in a two here. And, it, um, and you press enter, then it's correct. Mm -hmm. But if you type in a 1 on the next one, then you should type in a 2. Mm -hmm. Then it tells you that you're incorrect. Okay. So then I'm just going to let the video finish up like to the end where the, it displays the score. Okay. Now, how would you improve on this project? Um, I could give them a score counter yeah. along the way. Great. Yeah, um, absolutely. That's what I was I thinking. I could add more questions. Right. Uh, and maybe... Um, Instead of just focusing on preterite and imperfect, 
um, focus on maybe other tenses and other areas within the grammar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so, in other words, this is a good a good start. You want to make this app um, more versatile and um, more useful by adding different elements to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can't really see it here because it's blocked by the screencast logo, but it says you scored a 9 out of 10. Oh, okay. Good. So you got an A- minus for the, for this uh, Spanish quiz, right? That's mm -hmm. good. Okay, very good. Um, any any thoughts, final thoughts on your presentation? How long uh, did it take you to, to do this, more or less? Um, it took me about, it took me one class to, uh, just to think of how I would execute the code. Uh -huh. But um, then it took me... Um, about two more classes to finish writing up all the questions and the, make the score counter and all that. Okay. And um, are you planning on adding to this program? Uh, yes, I could add in five. Um, I'm thinking of adding like five more questions so that it's a, a little bit longer. I could also add the score counter. Right. And uh, I would definitely show this to your world languages instructor and see what he or she um, can recommend what direction to go um, in addition to adding more questions to this uh, uh, bank of, of questions that deal with predator versus imperfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Doug.